This Sunday will mark the 10th anniversary of the September 11 terrorist attacks. I focus on around asking members of the staff and student body what their thoughts were like on that day and how as leaders they can communicate that to new students. Um, how does it feel knowing that it's been 10 years since 9-11? Uh, I don't think it feels any different. Um, doesn't seem like it's been that long ago. No, that's the thing. Because I was in this classroom uh, 10 years ago and uh, you know, teaching class. And the next thing you know, there was a knock <clears throat> at the door, and the teacher that came that day um, doesn't work here anymore, but I remember her being a special ed teacher. And she knocked on the door and she said, hey, have you heard that you know, there has been some, um, she, she didn't know what it was, but she described some incident involving the World Trade Center. And uh, I basically said no. And she goes, you know, they're saying it could have been you know, that they were knocked down by some planes. And of course, at that time, you know, no one knew anything. And so we as a class, I kind of said, man, that's weird. And I said, man, that pilot's going to be in big trouble. There's got to be some, I don't know, there's drunk on the job or what was going on, but something happened. And so I don't think anybody, the initial moments, uh, especially here at school, we weren't getting enough information. Do you think, though, some students have a hard time seeing the significance of what happened that day? Oh, yeah, no doubt, um, especially these kids, because most of them were probably six years old at that time. So there's no doubt that they have trouble seeing the significance. I mean, my own kids, I mean, we were talking about it uh, at home around the dinner table. You know, they, they don't even know what 9-11 really means. You know? So yeah, I think it's real hard for these kids to understand the impact it has had and, uh, and the significance of it worldwide, you know, history-wise. So you know, that's our job to teach it and hopefully their job to learn it. It's actually pretty shocking because I've grown up a lot since the day that the initial thing happened. It's actually very different being on the other side. I was a student when it happened and now I'm a teacher and I couldn't even imagine being the teacher, the adult in the classroom when everything was happening and students were asking me, what's going on? What's going on? Kids, as a student back then, I didn't care. So I can understand now that students are like, okay, really? Why is everyone talking about 9-11? Why is it a big deal? Because they don't have that maturity level to understand that when something happens to another person, especially when something happens to our country, that it is a big deal. So I understand if students have a hard time understanding why there's things on TV, why teachers are making a big deal about it, because some of them just don't get it. Um, I, I think one of the things that uh, with 9-11 that makes it very difficult is that as it gets further away from a lot of our students really understanding the impact, because 10 years ago you guys, are some of our oldest students were only eight. So as those students become more distant from, the, from that fact, Schools, I think, have to work a little hard to make history and big major effects like that in America you know, meaningful to our kids. You know, several years ago, it was very easy to talk about 9-11 to our students because they you know, really, really impacted their life, and they remember it very vividly. As it becomes more of a historical event and less of a current event, it, that becomes more hard for us to, to make that meaningful to our kids. So how, how did 9-11 personally affect you? Well, I remember I was sitting down in my classroom, and the uh, teacher came over the or the principal came over the intercom and said that two to three planes has crashed into the trade center. And at first, I didn't think anything of it. I didn't even know what the trade center was. And then I got home, and my dad was sitting on the couch crying. And I didn't, I didn't, I still didn't know what was going on. So I asked him what the matter was, and uh, I realized that my mom was in a uh, airplane. New York City at uh, the same time she was in the air so we couldn't couldn't get a hold of her you know it was she was on a, on a TWA plane also which are the types of planes that flew into the building so I we were all just really worried and didn't know what was happening because no one knew the details of the flights just then and didn't know where they came from so we're all just worried about my mom. Um, can you uh, remember what the feeling you had what happened on that day? I think that we all felt the same way. I think it was a huge surprise. It was a Tuesday uh, morning. I was teaching emergency procedures and regulatory compliance for American Airlines at the time. I had taken off work that day because I also taught PSR, which is Parish School of Religion and Immaculate Conception in Darden, and it was our first night for the new year. Um, after the first plane, the first uh, airplane, the American Airlines plane hit the tower, I was called back to the training center, which was at the end of our runway here at Lambert Field. Um, I had taught at that facility as well as Hangar 12 in New York. So um, I think that it was a feeling none of us had ever had before. Um, 
nobody knew what was going on and it changed everything that day.